gentlemen, Frank Moran for Queensbury Promotions, sponsored by Rain and Steel and Coral, proudly presents the main event of the evening. 12 three minute rounds for the vacant European Cruiserweight Championship here at the York Hall in London's East End. Your officials are appointed by the European Boxing Union and your three scoring judges at ringside are Mr. Gregor's Melinda of Poland, Mr. Luigi Muratoni of Italy, and Mr. Philippe Verbecca of Belgium. Your steward in charge is Dead Reese of the UK. And your EBU supervisor is Mrs. Marie Noel Frank of Belgium. Your timekeeper at the bell is Mick McCann of the UK. And when the action begins, your referee in charge is Mr. Giuseppe Quattroni of Italy. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner stands a man with a record of 23 wins, one loss, one draw, with 17 KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 13 stone, 12 pounds, and tonight he wears the silver shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Kiev, Ukraine, Dmitro Kucha. And across the ring in the blue corner, stand the man whose record reads 41 wins, seven losses, with 33 KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 14 stone, and tonight he wears the black shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a former British Commonwealth and European, and of course, a former WBO cruiserweight champion of the world from Swansea. Enzo Macaroni! Your referee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an urgent message that I have to give. We'll get back to you shortly, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. As the referee gives these instructions, we must say the ambulance is blocked in. A driver of KR11UYP, you must remove your car immediately. Thank you. Well, I hope whoever's vehicle that is gets that message and goes and moves it. That is extremely important. Back to action in the ring. Enzo Macarinelli just staying loose in the blue corner. Dimitri Kucha over in the red corner. And this is a delay that neither fighter will want here, but this is, as I say, this is critical. Registration KR11UYP. You must remove your car immediately. You're blocking the ambulance. It has to be moved. It quite simply does have to be moved. In fact, Nick Blackwell is sitting about 10, 15 yards away to our left-hand side, and he's looking in fantastic health. I was there that night at Wembley. I was ringside when he collapsed in the ring after the fight against Chris Eubank. I saw the ambulance leave. We knew it was bad at that point. I never imagined that such a short space of time afterwards that he would be ringside at a fight looking as well as he does. And that is because he received the best possible care, which involves, Barry, the ambulance being able to get you to hospital as fast as it can. When things happen, when fatalities happen, it's time critical, that's for sure. Is it, there's enough boxes in this room, why don't we just all go outside and just physically move it ourselves? I am bang up for that. There is definitely enough muscle, there is enough firepower in here to get that oh, done. If you need muscle, I'll, I'll stay on my chair then. But... But in terms of this delay for the two fighters here, these two are seasoned, experienced campaigners, but this is not exactly what you want to happen. And one thing we noticed about Kucha, actually, we're just looking at Macaronelli now, just staying loose, staying focused. Just look at that right knee, just underneath the right knee. He's got that 
strapping on there, Kutia. I'm no expert, so I couldn't tell you exactly what that is intended to do. Maybe it will play a part throughout the course of the fight. Maybe it won't, but there we go, the bell is gone. Enzo Macronelli in the Welsh shorts. Dimitri Kutia in the silver. Everything's got to be sharp here for Enzo. Oh, good jab. But the jab, you've got to come back sharp, though. Kutcher's a pretty good counter puncher as well. Good timing himself, so Enzo's got to be nice and sharp. Everything come back to a safe position. Two fighters just exchanging jabs. Kutcher balanced. Well, Kutcher's jab got a little bit more weight behind it because it, it, it's solid. He it just turns the shoulder, turns from the waist with it. Jabs the body from Macarinelli. Always quite hard to read. Eastern European fighters, Russian fighters, when you talk to them, often through an interpreter, it's difficult to get a kind of handle on what's going on with them mentally, but they're always very strong in that area, so I don't think travelling over here would have bothered him in the slightest. I tell you what, Kutcher, though, he, he brings that jab back pretty slow, and I tell you what, he brings it back to the chest. If I was Enzo, I, I'd sort of, um, um, I know it's a solid jab, I'd sort of try and slip it to the, put your head to the left, and then fire that right hand over the top. Steve mentioned that defeat, that disputed defeat to Alunga Makabu, who, of course, we saw beaten by Tony Bellew recently. Very tight on the cards, majority decision. He's at 15 months out after that couple of wins then fought for this title against Bilal Lagoon last October that was a draw nice work with a the jab there from Macarinelli Kucha just well they both want the other one to, to fire first and they both want a counter punch Exactly, Kucha just fainting with that front foot a little bit, just stamping that foot down, that toe down, trying to draw something from Macronelli. Good double jab there, or two single jabs in quick succession from Macronelli. Kucha's lining up that right hand, you can see it. I think Enzo can see it too, that's why he just held fire for a while. Oh. Good left hand there from Kucha, and Macronelli was unsteady on his legs, and he's down. Good one-two there from Kucha, and Macronelli is down, and I think that that is probably that. I'm afraid to say it, but he's never going to get back to his feet from that. He's been caught in the first round. Gary Lockett is waving the towel anyway. This fight is over. Enzo Macaronelli has been stopped in the first round. Dimitro Kucha has come here and done the most clinical job. And it was a very, very clean couple of blows. You could see the legs go immediately, Barry. And from the way he went down, you just knew that he wasn't going to be able to get back up. To be honest, that, that's... Enzo going down there, that's like Enzo going down in every time he's gone down, throwing a left hook of his own. That's what happens with Enzo, you know, he's so, so, he so wants to hurt you that he throws a big left hook, he's in close, but Kutcher was staying nice and controlled, didn't panic, you know, and, and he was just a little bit neater, and because Enzo's left hook's a little bit wide, Kutcher got there first, and it was, that, that was the case, he would have landed first, and it was uh, Dimitri Kutcher. Well, the doctor just checking. Macronelli out and jubilation in the Kucha camp. Trainer Anatoly Gavrilov has been with him from the start since he was 11 years old, and here's where it happened. Yeah, see, there you go. How many times have we seen that with Enzo? Just drops the right hand a little bit. He didn't do too much wrong. Just he, 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 want, he no, he's such, got so much power, Enzo. He wants to knock you off when he throws a left hook. So he, he swings a little bit wide. Could just stay nice and controlled, to be fair to him. Kept his concentration. And um, the, the, the second left, the second left, it was a great finish. But Enzo was already hurt by that stage. And it's just listen, these big tools are racing and all bang, and, and, and uh, you take the gamble. That's what happens. Well, unfortunately, it has happened. And easy to say this now, but maybe after that first left hand, when he looked a bit unsteady, he looked a bit rocked. He could possibly have dropped to a knee. But that's 2020 hindsight. I'm employing there. And then he was just so accurate with the follow-up there, Kucha. The thing with the, the thing that I call him the new Enzo is that. He needs to cut the rounds just to build that confidence in a fight. And once he got that, he started, as we've seen with Over McKenzie in the second fight, once he got that confidence after the first cut of rounds, he starts to flow and he needed that. 
Ladies and gentlemen, at two minutes, 48 seconds of the first round, the contest has been stopped. The winner by technical count out and now the new European Cruiserweight Champion from Kiev, Ukraine, Dimitro Kucha. Well, as you say, Barry, kudos to Dimitro Kucha because to come away from home, long camp, change of opponent, all sorts of things really.